What's up everybody, Derek back here with another review. I've got another fun robotic toy for you today. I have got the Spiro R2-D2. This is uh, the R2-D2 replica from the Star Wars trilogy and he's supposed to have a lot of fun features on him so I wanna get into him today, get him unboxed and show you guys what he can do. Let's get started. So judging from what this box can say here, it's shows Beeps Boops Tech. The specialized tech in R2-D2 is unlike any other astromech droid, making it as authentic and as trusty as R2 you've come to know and love. He's got an advanced radio system which allows him to detect your presence in the room. He's got LED lights built in. Front and rear lights are fully functional. He's got an integrated speaker, meaning that all the sounds will come from him himself, which if anyone's ever done the BB-8, the sounds on that robot actually come from your smart device. Looks like he also has Bluetooth as well so that you can connect to him and play games and all that on there as well. Says he's got authentic movement. You can drive R2, go from bipod to tripod stances or trigger emotive waddles. Just uh, dancing and driving, I guess. Um, holographic simulation, explore the Star Wars galaxy, roam iconic ship interiors and more. Um, that's going to be more app based when you point your phone at the unit and then it'll look like he's emitting an actual hologram for you to interact with. Droid to droid experience, he will interact with other R2-D2s or the BB-8 series or the other robots from the Sphero trilogy. And then apparently if you watch R2-D2 or if you watch the Star Wars movies with R2-D2 by your side, he will actually react to the movies and probably himself in those movies as well. So uh, now that we've got a little bit of specs on this guy, let's get him out of the box and take a look. So this here is pretty much what you're looking at when you first take the box cover off. It does come in this sleeve here with a nice picture of R2-D2. Underneath is this black box. Once you remove the lid, you've got the unit itself, which is actually larger than I expected for a Sphero robot. We're so used to the Sphero robots being smaller than this, but that's a good size for him. So let's see what else is in this box. Looks like there's a uh, guide there. And it looks like there's a drawer. Here we go, looks like we have a charger cord here to charge the unit. And it looks like that's pretty much gonna be it for him. You're just pretty much gonna get the unit itself, of course an instruction manual and a charger cord. Looks like R2-D2 does have a micro USB slot here on the back, so just charge him like you would your cell phone. So let's power this guy on and see what he can do. Now, of course, just like most robots today, he does interact with an app that Sphero made for this trilogy. So, of course, you have to download this app from your app store in order to play with R2-D2. All right, it looks like we are into the app now. You've got all the possible robots that you can possibly get from the Star Wars Trilogy, BB-8, BB-9E, R2-D2, and R2-Q5. Good, evil, good, evil. Now in order to wake R2-D2 for first time use, you do need to plug him in. So let's plug him in and get him to kick on. Looks like he is coming to life here. Now that we have R2-D2 woke up from plugging him in, we're gonna go ahead and connect and see if we can scan for him. Looks like it did find him. So let's go ahead and connect. And of course it wants to install an update and it wants me to charge him, so I'll plug him in, install the update, and then we'll play with R2-D2. All right, so our updates have installed, so we're gonna go ahead and connect. And then we'll confirm, and there he goes. He's awake now. And now, it's given us some options on the screen. You can connect to multiple of these drones at once. You can connect to BB-8, R2-D2, or the other two, you can connect to them all simultaneously through this application. 
Looks like here you can drive him. Mode select. So then we can just drag him around and drive him. Okay. And then what's this one do? You can send him out on a patrol. What does patrol look like? Looks like he might run off the edge of the table so he doesn't, he's not able to sense the edge of an obstacle like some of the other robots. But it does send him out, which is cool. So let's go ahead and we will pause that and stop R2-D2 from running. And here's a fun one. Let's see what happens. We can enable human interactions or droid interactions mode to watch your droids emote and engage independently from direction given in the app. So let's go over to human. Looks like it says your drone must be charging and not connected to the app. If a droid is already plugged in when the app disconnects, unplug it and plug it in again. Please allow five seconds. And apparently he will interact. So let's give it a shot, see what he does. <laughs> Looks like in this screen, you can actually go through these films with the robot and he should react differently to them. Then he has his augmented reality where you can actually go into these ships and experience the ship with him. So if we go into Millennium Falcon, let's see what happens. Okay, so it looks like we are inside the ship. So theoretically, if we were to point this up, we should be looking into the ship. How do I move him? Apparently we just move like this. And you explore the ships, just like this. Then it gives you fun facts about them, which is cool. But I'm not sure from a standpoint how much R2 actually does here. And you gotta move around like this and he shifts with it. Which is kind of cool. Kind of a cool feature. So all in all, R2-D2 is just a fun app-enabled robot. He does some cool things. He does move. He does interact somewhat. But um, just like most of the Sphero robots, most of his interactions are going to be based out of this app. Which isn't mad. It's a, it's a, it's a fun toy, it's, especially if you're a fan of the trilogy. I mean, it's something cool to have in your arsenal. And he does move, and he has active lights, and he actually makes sounds, which is really cool. Um, wouldn't be a bad gift for someone who's really into the Star Wars trilogy, or even a kid who just loves app-enabled robots. He's not as interactive as most robots, or as I would like to see him be. But who knows, maybe future updates, something else will come out that will really just help him along. But I mean, other than that, good robot. I would recommend it as a present. But other than that, I think we will end this review here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.